What up, YouTube? Back with an update, man. Trump, uh, the indictment. A lot of the process played out today. Uh, comment if you guys tapped into the coverage of all that. Whole lot to to unpack with all that, but we got a um, thread that I wanted to go over with you guys. Senator uh, Chuck Schumer here tapping in and uh, Elon Musk in the replies. So uh, Schumer says, I believe that Donald Trump will have a fair trial that follows the facts and the law. There's no place in our justice system for any outside influence or intimidation in the legal process as the trial proceeds. Protest is an American right, but all protests must be peaceful. So are you with Chuck? Do you believe he will have a fair trial? There will not be any outside influences. I mean, a lot of the commentary I'm hearing it seems a lot of people feel the exact opposite of that. But then again, I'm, I'm hearing a lot of commentary where people feel that this is just more or less um, a stunt to try to, as like a stall tactic, to try to fluck up his quest to try to get back in office. And, you know, if you do feel that way, let me know if you feel that that will fluck it up for Trump or whatever. But let's see what Elon Musk has to say. He says... To avoid, oh, and also the protests. Um, Schumer says that's a right, but they got to be peaceful. Um, the other day, my bro Jay Milley was speaking on this in a video, and I'm not saying he came out and said that he thinks there's going to be a lot of protests, but uh, more or less, you know, he just kind of was saying a lot is going to come with this and kind of. I read into that. It, it felt like he was saying, you know, we, we may see a lot of that possibly going down. And, you know, I, I'm just I don't know the way my mind works. You know, my, my thought process just branches out into a lot of different um, possibilities and things like that. And I don't know, you know, what do you guys think? Will we see a lot of protests, et cetera? Will they be peaceful? You know, is, is there definitely the potential for things to get crazy, let me know, you know, it's definitely a, a historical situation. Once again, whether you think it's looted, like you're a Trump guy and you think this is ludicrous or you don't, wherever you stand, you got to admit this is history right now. You know, we've never really seen nothing like this. I don't believe Musk says, to avoid losing the trust of the American public, it is important that our justice system pursue Democrats and Republicans with equal vigor. Whichever party most puts justice before nepotism is the one that deserves trust. So that uh, with Elon Musk, you know, there's been a lot of people with negative things to say about Elon purchasing this platform but you see there he's saying hey they got to come for both parties and you know can we trust either party um you know I i've shared that i've heard a lot of people whose word means something to me you know that they just don't talk out of their arse say that elon has opened the floodgates for commentary to come through on both sides you know and and not just in this political aspect and other um, sectors and, and, and situations as well. But uh, let's see some other comments in here, guys. Let me know what you guys uh, think about all this. See what else is going on. You didn't say anything when this happened. Uh, and this is a meme about inciting violent insurgency, domestic terrorists, about the whole capital thing. The left is really in need of help. Bring back the asylums. Von Full Chuck, what do you care about? about facts did something change or i'm sorry what do you care about facts like question did something change uh you bull i don't even know what the hell that says uh mr H or i'm sorry m handy says i had never i had been a never trump after the constitution statements i'm now 100 percent on the mortgage mega train we can't have absurd charges like this the da is prosecuting federal charges he can't bring so he can say there was a felony committed on other charges built on testimony from a perjurer. Gain of Fauci. I'm sure you do. 
and uh, that's quote tweeting on Elvin Bragg and Schumer shaking hands as Elvin Bragg is the DA, um, you know, prosecuting Trump. Red State 66 says you lie every time your lips move. And, uh, you know, a response to Senator Schumer, all protests must be peaceful. Funny that you never say that about Antifa or BLM. Nobody believes you, Chucky. Holy London, the words fair trial coming from you mean nothing. You are as corrupt as they come, truck Chuck. Christian Williams says has forgotten his name was in Madame Heidi Fleiss book. Chuck forgot his name was in there, says Christian Williams. Arizona guy one says this is absolutely beautiful. President Trump is giving us the opportunity to see just how utterly corrupt the judicial system has become a weaponized court process. No charges against Hillary, never brought. So amazingly, Americans are now witnessing it for themselves. Tweety Bird Buffy says, my sentiment exactly. I feel Trump's legacy will include him spotlighting. One, we don't have a two-party system. There's the D.C. swamp and Americans. Bush's, Clinton's, and Obama's, all buddy-buddy. They care about their power, not us. And two, obvious justice is perverted and two-tiered. So, you know, uh, that tweet there kind of takes me back to something, you know, I, I used to say that I've noticed a lot of people say regarding Trump, as I always share with y'all, you know, I'm not a super political guy, you know, so please join the discussion, help me uh, break this all down. But I used to hear a lot of people say that uh, they felt Trump was attacked by the media a lot because he came from outside of the typical political world where, like you see in that tweet, you know, someone said Bush's, Clinton's, Obama's, you know, all those uh, elite political American bloodlines, if you will, that Trump comes from a different world, um, you know, where obviously he's rich as fuck, but he, he's just out of a different place than they come from. So he, you know, was uh, attacked or villainized, you know, towards the typical political world. We're going to read about five more of these and then I'll close it out. Once again, guys, please comment. Wild situation, you know, going to continue to cover this. Very interested to hear everyone, you know, um, as always, subscribe. And, uh, you know, we talk a lot of other topics over here as well. Music, news, sports, current events, life, and much more. I know, I know. We talk about so much different things on this platform. It almost don't make sense, but that's just how I rock. Paul Revere of this generation says, says the man laundering our money through Ukraine. Sandy at Right Glock Mom says, I'm old enough to remember not one but two sham impeachment trials brought on after the six ways to Sunday Russia hoax. Shut it, Chuck. Conspiracy at Conspiracy says, it's hilarious how triggered all the left are about Trump. He is an amazing weapon. Uh, think for yourself, Philip Blee, or Philip Bealey, I'm sorry, says, Senator Schumer, you talk a good game, but your actions contradict your words. Did you know it's a fact that Elvin Bragg hid hundreds of pages of exculpatory evidence from the grand jury? That makes this indictment Ill 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 illegitimate. Why aren't you pointing that out in your follow? Hold on, there's more to the tweet. We actually got a quick click on here. Um, why aren't you pointing that out in your follow the facts statement? And then uh, Sarah Clinton responded and says, yes, let's all watch as this actually becomes a trial of Alvin Bragg. I don't know if you know this, but he's got some things to answer to and they will come out. Don't be surprised if every one of those tables gets turned against this Democratic Party for their involvement. And uh, one more we'll read. Your time will come to the precedent has been set. And uh, E. Cavendish says he surely deserves Wendy O, Crypto Wendy O says, okay, then do all the other public servants for posterity. So uh, there you have it, guys. Uh, in the last few tweets we read there, you see a lot of people were saying Elvin Bragg, who, you know, has been involved in a back and forth with Trump. 
um, as I covered recently before the indictment came in, maybe a week or two ago when Trump was putting it out that he would be indicted soon. Um, you know, there were some tweets he put out to Alvin Bragg and some people were saying, you know, they were in a threatening manner. And there was actually someone, you know, with ties to Trump that was speaking out to the media and they were telling, they were saying that they were advising Trump, yo, chill, be chill. Don't give them any extra ammunition, et cetera. Um, these individuals in these recent tweets here are saying that Alvin Bragg, you know, hid stuff, buried stuff when it came to, um, you know, this whole investigation and they feel that, you know, he may be prosecuted at some time. Kind of remind you guys remember that movie Cape Fear, uh, Robert De Niro's character who was a crazy sick son of a bitch, period. But he came home and like was on a mission to get at his former attorney who buried some, you know, reports and stuff like that that could have possibly helped his uh, client, you know, different things. But just I don't know why I felt the need to uh, mention that I'm Jay Coffee Talk. Sometimes I talk a little bit too much, but that's how we rock over here. So just wanted to go over this again, touch base with everyone, see everyone's thoughts, what you guys feel about this. Um, again, this is history in the making, uh, but there you have it. Senator Chuck Schumer, Elon Musk speak out about the Trump indictment as, you know, a lot of things transpired today. Once again, if you were tapped into that and watch that whole process, the coverage of that play out, share your thoughts on that as well as everything we touched on and uh, stay tuned for updates. Look forward to talking with you guys in the comments. I'm out of here, guys. Subscribe. Peace.